When I founded Tacit Knowledge in uh, 2002, it was at the basically height of the bust. We were sort of betting that people that were buying IT services would become disenchanted with what I saw as the commoditization of our profession. Cheapest price, quality was a, a buzzword thrown around by everyone, and uh, the maturity of process mattered. And what was completely ignored was the human element. And I knew from personal experience, just being a software development manager for several years, that there's a, talent makes all the difference in the world. That kind of became the core tenet of our company when we founded it, was to be based around tacit knowledge, that knowledge that you get through apprenticeship, as opposed to some prescriptive process um, that's level five or whatever other companies were trying to, to represent. So the bet was that eventually the market would appreciate that. And I think uh, for the most part they do. What's very fulfilling about our business is helping our clients get past their technology hurdles so they can actually focus on their business. And a lot of our clients are, are very large in terms of the volume of business that they do and the prestige of their brand. Sometimes it's retailers in a pre-holiday scramble with e-commerce site that is doing millions of dollars a day constantly crashing and being able to fix that in a, a few weeks and get them through the holiday. As people who work on those platforms and those technologies, the potential uh, for a screw up to cost millions of dollars a day is, is a real reality. After two years or so of being in business, it became uh, very important for us to carry insurance of some form, errors and omissions and general liability. And the first time that happened, it was a client, uh, a large retail client, that sort of said, this isn't gonna be a problem for you, is it? And we sort of smiled and nodded and said, no, uh, uh, let me make some phone calls, we'll figure it out. Any large business, it seems, won't let you touch their software without having errors and omissions and general liability insurance in particular. It's not a question of, is this useful, do we need it, which of course, you know, in the worst case scenario it is, but it's really the cost of doing business. You have to be very adaptive. Um, there's a tendency to, to have a vision in your mind that uh, meets the hard road of reality. And to be able to change course is pretty important. The technology change that's been most transformational for our business is just the, the evolution of the network computer. And also what's commonly referred to as cloud computing, which has implications for the software that we build. At the very beginning, the thing that made me most excited about starting Tacit Knowledge was the prospect of you know, being an entrepreneur, setting off on my own, kind of being in charge of my own destiny collectively, and the creativity that you're empowered with through that experience. Our best days are ahead of us. I know that sounds like a cliche, well, probably because it is, but uh, it's very true. We're working on things right now that, that keep me interested. And frankly, from a personal perspective, my job has evolved so much over 10 years. I have a very different job than I had 10 years ago, even eight, two years ago or four years ago. It shifted every couple of years, which has uh, kept me challenged and, and interested. And the, and the business has, has transformed in a similar capacity.